Hello and welcome to my art show, Drawing with Shanza. I'm your host, Shanza, if you haven't guessed that already. Alrighty, we're going to get started. So, great, tonight we are going to begin learning how to draw the basic zombie. Alright, so you get your fancy pen here. You choose whatever size you want, like you want a fat pen, you want like a thin pen, you want a really thin pen. It all depends on what you want. I like to go with like the, the medium, well, a little bit thicker than that. Rah! Okay. So, first thing you do, let's make it a little thicker. <laughs> Alright, so first thing you do is you draw. A head. Uh, hold on. You draw a head. There we go. All right. So perfect. So, <laughs> so it's not like an egg shape exactly. It's like an, a jelly bean, right? So if you can start figuring out how to get that kind of shape going on, you can cheese your way through any drawing that concerning people's heads. Because it could be male or female. It's all how you like freaking cheese it. So anyway, so you get a tip that's thinner than what you use. This is your outline. And you're going to start with eyes. I like to start with eyes because it defines personality. So here we go. So eyes, I like to do this. All right, all right. Looks pretty spooky, all right. All right, and with those same kind of idea, um, you can study skulls all you want. I attempted to at one point in my life. I kind of got the gist, but all I know got from it is the jaw is attached to the skull. It's not like one big bone, right? So, so we draw some circles right here. All right, I mean they're you know ovals. And then we connect them via smiley face. Still looking very creepy. All right. So first things first, we like to make the teeth, right? Just make upside down U's, one right after the other, like so. So you get to the other circle, oval, whatever. And then regular side U's, right side up U's. And just kind of space them out however you like, right? It's your drawing. You draw it the way you want to. I'm just showing you the way I draw. All right, so here's the trick with skulls, what I've gathered. So this part right here, follow it out like that on both circles, right? They don't have to be perfect. And then draw a circle downward like that. Curve it in like that, right? That way, you can erase this and that. All right? All right, you see, you see, you get the idea, right? All right. So you fill those in, make it look like you meant to do it the first time, first place. And just start shaping your skull, right? You make it as messy as possible. It's up to you. So, under the eye is usually the cheekbone, right? So, let's make some cheekbones. Eh? Eh? Uh, <laughs> Alright. Then we go like that. Erase. Alright. Kind of give the uh, Neanderthal bump that they have, that skulls have on top of their eyes, like that. Yes. And you get the idea. So, so get a thick, one, thick brush here and make it dark because it's dark inside Zar. Yes. With a thick brush, you can just do this if you want for a skull. And fill it in. You'd be like, Sean, though, you said zombies, not skulls. What are we drawing in? 
skulls for? You say, and I'll say to you, um, I forgot what we were drawing for a split second there. Okay, so what we do is we get the white, and kind of like the Ben Templesmith artist guy, put little dots in there, make it really spooky. Or you can kind of lightly put circles around those, kind of give them more of an intense glare, right? So, add some little bit of shading. And Right? Yeah, it's starting to look starting to look pretty good, right? Then you just add cheating wherever you can. Yep, yep. Make the eyes a little bit bigger maybe. My favorite kind of thing to do is you get like lines and you just kinda on the eyes or any edges of it, you just kind of make it cracks that kind of break out and and connect to each other, right? And make that sound that helps. All right. And what's also really good to do is see like right here, be like this, <sighs> like a piece was broken out. But Sean, that's still a skull. We want zombies. All right, I'm getting to it. All right, so what we do, what we can do, and the little well, I choose this eye. All right, so we get the white, get a larger paintbrush, and we give him back one of his eyeballs. There you go. Here's your eye. There you go. And then, what do eyes have? They have irises and pupils, and veins. Gross veins, right? <laughs> it's gross. All right, so with teeth, back on teeth, a good thing to do is like like how we did up here with our cheekbones, we follow the curves out, kind of giving it the illusion of of depth, of Johnny depth. Okay. All righty. So and we just kind of shade it. Right, right, right. Give it some uh, rods that you can still see color and light. And let's see. Let's, let's say some of his skin remains. So kind of just do that. Ew, it looks gross, Sean. Let's give him an eyebrow still. Ew. All right, so give him some spots. So what you want to do with a zombie, in my opinion, is you really got to like, while you're drawing, you got to like decide what his story is. How did he or she become a zombie, right? So first, I mean, you can go into debate on like what kind of zombies are in your little universe. Are they the ones that come from a meteor? Is it a biological thing? Is it a Resident Evil thing where they're like, once you're bit, you're hooked? Or if you have to be dead first, like um, George Romero, you have to be dead first and just rise from the grave that way. You know, I think this one would be more of a, a George Romero one where he was dead first. Well, he still got a pretty fresh eye in there. So I guess it'd kind of be a mix of the two. You can do whatever you want. But when I say um, the backstory of your zombie is like... How did he miss half his face? Well, maybe it got burnt off. So let's make some like some like carbon scoring, right? That's called cross hatching, by the way. And it's totally legal to do in the art world. Just make lines like that. If you're nervous about making making it look good, um, just keep in mind that there's no there's no such thing as bad art. It's that cheesy ass saying uh, you might have heard, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Guess what? It's true with art. There's always going to be someone who hates your art. But then again, there's always going to be someone who likes your art. And really, it's the kind of people you want to allow in your life. So, anyway, got a little philosophical there. Anyway, 
So, you obviously want to hang out with the people who like your art, right? Because all that negativity of shh, stupid art drawing people, you, your picture sucks. Psh, don't pay attention to those people. Don't let them in your life. Anyway, back to the zombie here. So, let's give him some strands up here. See? See, I'm not even like... I'm not even like concentrating on what kind of hair, right? But because the trick is about hair is let me show you. The hair can go in any direction. It can be combed, brushed, gelled, but it depends on how many strands are with it that give it a uh, personality, so to speak. And you can go thinner. Ah! Go thinner. Go thicker. Not that thick. That's like like a nail sticking out of his head. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, so hold on. Let's back up. Let's back up. No, zoom in. Zoom in a little bit more. Here we go. So let's say he got... <laughs> it's going to be gross. Okay, let's say he got a railroad spike in his head so we gotta f look up on google what a railroad spike is right i'm guessing it's like this and this is how you um tease a 3d object Ta -da, it's 3d <laughs> you're just looking straight at it ping All right, so, I mean, you're pretty much done right now. You can color in those spots if you wish. You can do whatever you want. There's nothing wrong with how you draw. It's all how you want. You draw for you. All right? All right. And just a quick tip. We'll just draw a neck. You can do it anywhere, like that. You can have it a thin neck, if you want, or a large neck. You size it. It just has to be connected to the head, right? It's a zombie. It can look whatever it wants. All right, and then we can have its, uh, what are those, deltoids? I think they're deltoids. That are, have a sternum in the middle, and connected by a collarbone. You got your main main thingies here it's pretty manly I kind of just kind of manned it up so remember the Adam's apple yeah I played operation so yeah that's uh that's how you make a zombie so uh yeah so I think we did pretty good if you drew a zombie Feel free to post it on my Facebook, which is uh, facebook.com slash art of Shanza, Shanza art. Oh, I don't know my Facebook. Anyway, it should be on there. I'll, I'll look it up and post it in the, com uh, the description below. But yeah, if you want to show me your fancy drawing, uh, go ahead. If not... All right, just keep it to yourself then. But yeah, thank you for joining on how to draw a ZMB head. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night.